but I want to come down to, you know, when you actually leave your client or when you leave your business or you leave your job behind, mm. um, you, you said that you have uh, faced failure in the past. Yep. I just A left lot. my job. <laughs> exactly. And I just left my job uh, in the past, like in four, four months ago. And it, mm. I have a completely different side of it, but I wanted to ask you how you have dealt, dealt with the uh, failure in the past when you in the past, had to leave something behind. Um, let's just talk about the process of leaving these failures. Sure. Sure. The, the, what I learned from leaving my ex work is I learned the courage to pursue my dreams instead of okay. investing my time and my energy for someone else, I actually grew courage to pursue what I want to do. And okay. as courage grew, as courage grew, my ability to create and become a creator, which is mm -hmm. all, every human being is meant to be a creator, mm -hmm. creating their own life, but not everybody uh, feels that they are able to become the creator that they're meant to be. Mm. So through courage, you will learn that everything in life is just there to give you a lesson. That's all. True. And it is not always a reflection of who you are. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not, depending on how, how, how you see yourself. It depends on how hardworking you are. Um, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm quite perfectionistic and I push myself a lot. I want to achieve. I want to challenge my abilities. Um, some people okay. are just plain lazy, let's say. If, if you are a lazy person, yeah. then you need to ask yourself why you're lazy. Is it because you're afraid to succeed or you just don't ever want to fail? Um, I have people True. who are, I, I mean, I know people who are, for example, they graduate from Ivy League schools, mm -hmm. schools that I could never go into because I'm not smart enough yeah in a, in a academic way I, i'm never academically smart mm -hmm. i'm not smart enough to go to leave these ivy league schools but these people are not successful some of these people are not successful because they're too afraid to fail because yeah. they have always succeeded in life in in getting certain grades in in achieving certain social status um there wasn't a lot of failure in their life and when you don't fail you are more afraid to fail and when you are more afraid to fail, your skin gets very thin and you you start to think that, oh, I can't fail because oh, other people might see me a certain way. And let me tell you this. Nobody creates your dream for you. My husband cannot create my dreams for me. My parents cannot create my dreams for me. And nobody will know what is your deepest desire. Nobody will know what is your deepest dreams. And only you, within your ability, your skills, your management of your time, your understanding of your own energy and your abilities, will you consistently be able to create your dreams. And if you give up on yourself because you're telling yourself that you can't or you're or you just kind of like, um, oh, you're not achieving what you want to achieve within what, like four or five months. Mm -hmm. And for me as a coach, developing my business has been more than a year now. Mm -hmm. And I've okay. only started to see success <clears throat> after more than a year. And I'm still continue to add things in my business. And okay. it's a never ending. It's a never ending consistency that you have to believe and, and put into your own business. Yeah. And without failure, how are you going to know what works and what doesn't work? And what is failure? Failure is your mind's perception of how you shouldn't be. And how do you know what you shouldn't be? You, you will only never... know what you shouldn't be if you do it. Exactly. Then you will know. <laughs> and that's 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 all I have to say to, to whoever is watching this or whoever will be watching this is yeah. you can never give up on yourself because nobody will ever be able to create the dreams that you want to achieve for yourself. Mm -hmm. And nobody knows you more than you know yourself. Um, if you love yourself enough, you will work for yourself. You will strive. True. You will achieve. And if you love yourself enough, you will know when to have a break, when to have kids, when to have a family, when to shut your mouth so that you don't talk and argue with your partner, when to ask questions. You will just learn and know through mistakes, through failure, whatever you want to call it, 
is all just lessons in life. So as much as I am really harsh on myself before, mm -hmm. I am less harsh on myself now because I'm still a new able every day. I'm learning True. every new day. I'm a new person every day. I'm a new mother every day. I'm a new partner every day. So what? give yourself a break. If you're really hard on yourself. Yeah. 